Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The weekend before Thanksgiving, President Obama is announcing that there is no inflation due to his policies. And I have one thing to say to him is, obviously, you don't go shopping at the supermarket. We just came back from the supermarket and let me just say, things are a lot higher. In fact, we were going to do a pumpkin pie, except we realized it's just cheaper to buy a pie than to buy the ingredients for it. And not buy a little bit, buy quite a bit. Anyway, news conti still continues besides, oh yes, that and breaking dawn. Meanwhile, we'll bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Six pirates on trial in Paris and a first in France. Well, yeah, because the French should don't try pirates. <laughs> I mean, okay, what happened is, is the United States and these countries are responsible for the Somali pirates. First of all, you don't go anywhere. You cannot take a stupid well boat out 200 miles into the ocean. So you do not have to come anywhere near Somalia. And second, you can't board a super tanker unless somebody on board the ship helps you get on board the ship because it's like 50 stories up in the air. And uh, you know, hey, I got a boat that's three football fields in length and I'm going to stop because that that 15 foot welling boat is going to sink me. No, I don't think they stand much of a chance of sinking a super tanker. You don't think so? No. Nope. In Canada, questions Haitian government plans for new army. Well, you know, because um, the, what do they need an army for? The country is destroyed and uh, they're dependent upon everybody else to keep the country going. So what, the, the only reason they would need a new army is because somebody wants to take control and they'll do it with the military. And city officials resume Occupy London eviction moves. Well, uh, okay, right here. We know that Rex worships the president, so I got to cover Rex's ears. The president of the United States, they're blaming Barack Obama specifically for all of this going on around the world now because they said what we needed was people, you know, 99% of the people are suffering under the 1%. Well, unfortunately, the 99% of the people run the country and the 1% don't. That's what they don't understand. You know, elections, folks. You you elect the people there, even if it's in uh, in a parliamentary style of government. You still elect them, and uh, the the one percent don't elect anybody. They don't have the ability to do it. They can help, but they can't elect anyone. And city officials resume Occupy London eviction moves. You know, she liked that so much. She said it again twice. I know. And Tunisian parties pick rights activists as president. I know. Uh, well, the, the, the problem is. If you keep doing this, you're going to have nothing but problem countries. You don't want activists, anybody, you do not want an activist running a country, no matter what the activist. Okay, um, um, if we're going to go back to um, uh, an episode of Star Trek, where they basically, one of their Emmy Award winners, where they went back in time, and a peace activist uh, was allowed to take control of the United States government, and the United States didn't get into, didn't get into World War II because she was running the government. The Germans won World War II. They used a nuclear weapon to destroy other countries, and uh, and then the uh, the future never happened because of a peace activist. So this way, it works the same way on the other side. You put uh, you put someone like Obama in the, in the office, and look what you have there too. It's just you know you, you don't put an activist ever in a position of authority because they they they'll simply do what they intend to do. Mm-hmm. And what they're used to doing. That, that, and New Zealand leader John Key in privacy dispute. Yeah, uh, it's, um, I mean, it just, everywhere in the world they've got this problem going on, and, and, and it, it just isn't going to stop until the way things are being, they're doing business has changed in this world. I just don't know why. I mean, okay, there was a time when I was young, none of the world would have put up with any of this stuff that's going on now. They would have just simply stomped on it, and everybody would have been happy. And now they seem, well, political correctness is preventing anything from happening. Are you serious? Yeah, they get political correctness in the Soviet Union, for Christ's sake. And these people are dictators. They do? Yeah. Well, it's the political correctness on there, you know, thou shalt not say anything derogatory about the Communist Party. Oh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> That's political correctness there. Mexican newspaper attacked by armed men. Yeah, oh, well. Uh, an example, I saw this guy that owns oh, the largest publisher in the world, this guy on yesterday, totally insulting the United States and the Republican Party. And uh, 
and uh, as he's doing it, I saw the guy. This is over on the over on the uh, the 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 one of the liberal channels. He's got a picture of Barack Obama out, and as the as he's attacking the Republicans and the and our country, the guy the uh, reporter is just going to the picture of Barack Obama. Oh, really? Well, he wants to buy. He wants to get into. He wants to be able to buy one of the one of the Spanish language stations, and because he's not, a, he, he, they don't allow a foreign countries to own our networks or anything. And he wants Obama to waive that rule just for him. Yeah. Well, so so he's basically the Democrats have done everything they can do, and the Republican obstructionists are keeping this nation down. Your country is never going to be great again until you get rid of the Republican obstructionists. This is supposed to be a guy that made his money being a journalist, and he's so one-sided and bigoted, which is unreal. And some U.S. states raise taxes for the poor but cut taxes for others. And that basically, that's not true, no matter how they say it. What it is is the, um, they're, they're not cutting taxes for the wealthy. They're getting tax breaks to move businesses into the area who are hiring the people. And what is happening is, is that there is no more money to pay for things as California is finding out and they're having to start charging people for services they used to get for free. That's not a tax increase according to the Democrats. That's a service fee and a service fee is not a tax increase according to Nancy Pelosi. Mm. And Herman Cain makes another mistake on foreign policy. He said the Taliban is basically taking control in Libya. Yeah. Uh, and since he just said, can you prove that the Taliban, he said, well, you can't, you can't, I asked, he said, I ask you the question, Mr. Reporter, who was, can you prove that they're not? Well, he said that we all know they're not. Then how do you know that I don't know that they are? See, that's, uh, you know, that's the way it works. You can make, uh, you can't, if you can't prove the opposite, then then you, you can't, can't prove the other. That's right. And Detective Robert Wagner is not a suspect in Natalie Wood's death. Well, if he's not a suspect and a captain is turning evidence against Wagner, that only means Christopher Walken is the suspect. And, and you know, how long ago did Natalie Wood pass, die? Oh, 30 years ago. But they, uh, this is the bad part, that three out of every four people think that either Christopher Walken or Robert Wagner murdered her now. They weren't even there, were they? Well, no, they, they were basically, uh, you know, they were uh, elsewhere. Basically, she got, they figured, there, there's still the set of things, though most of the people feel, the, the smart people said she was drunk. She Drunk and fell off the boat, right? Drunk and fell off the boat. They said, well, why does she go out on the boat if she was afraid of the water? Because she always went out on the boat. She, okay, she was, she was totally afraid of the water. She did a scene with Robert Beatty in, uh, in Splendor in the Grass where she basically nearly drowns. She did a scene with Robert Redford in Inside Daisy Clover where she's in the, back, where she's in the water. And she's an actress, folks. She did what she was required to do and she owned the boat and she loved the boat. It was named after her. Oh, well. It was called The Splendor. I mean, it was named after that first movie, the movie she got in the Academy Award. Oh, really? It was called The Splendor. It was her boat, for Christ's sake. You know, you go out in your own boat. Well, if you don't like boats, it's why also, would you do it? It wasn't really a boat. It was a great big god-awful ship, which is like <laughs> a house in the water. <laughs> and Republic, I know. If, if you didn't like boats, you wouldn't buy one and have That's your name right. on it, right? I mean, he, Wagner bought it specifically for her because he wanted to make certain that she felt secure. You know, she 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 didn't. She was afraid of the water, but didn't. She she went out in the water all the time. And Republican outside of Ron Paul gains ground in Iowa. Well, because Ron Paul always gains ground in Iowa, because Ron Paul had, okay, Iowa has nothing to do with voting like you would normally. Basically, people paid to vote in Iowa on that, on that thing. They pay so to vote? They pay to vote, so they bring their people out and give them like $25 a piece to pay to vote. Who has the best organization wins, not who's going to, they said the nominee seldom ever actually wins the, you know, if you win Iowa and win not, and don't win the other next two states, you don't win. Iowa is basically a state where if, well, I got a million bucks, I think I'm going to give $25, $25 to, a, you know, a quarter of a million people to come out and vote for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it works, folks. This, this organization has nothing to do with whether they like your policies, it's who's best organized. But who gives the most food out, who gives the money, the tickets to come to the thing, who has the best... Uh, I mean, like, okay, I've got Brad Paisley, and I have 
Um, I, I have George Clooney. Uh, Paisley's going to entertain me. Clooney's going to bore me to death. I think I'll go vote for the guy that's Paisley performing that. That's how it's done. Yeah. And Gay Soldier, oh, Peter calls Super Mario campaign tongue in cheek. Well, you know, okay, they're making fun of Super Mario. Actually, go to Peter's going to start their own porn channel now in order to promote uh, and promote the, the stopping of killing of animals, which nobody can understand. What? They're going to use porn pornography to get people away and expect to get major stars to do porn stuff now. Oh, to stop killing animals, that you should watch porn instead. They're going to because they figure that porn is the easiest way to get hope, get in touch with the people that are doing the most destruction of animals. <laughs> they, they, yeah. They're waiting to see which major stars are going to do the porn stuff. Anna Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, I think there's a, probably one of the reasons why you feel like you're getting old is because today you have no comprehension of why the young people are doing anything that they're doing.